Just when we think we've seen it all, there's another amazing animal just waiting to be discovered. The animal kingdom is a weird and wonderful place, and scientists are only just beginning to scratch the surface when it comes to awesome animal discoveries. From the goat spider hybrid whose milk is made of silk, to the seal who talks English with a Boston accent, these are the 15 incredible animals you should know about part two. We've come to see Lonesome George, who's... Hello, George. Giant Catfish Meet the biggest fish in the world, the Mekong Giant Catfish. This enormous freshwater fish can be found in Thailand and Cambodia, and they're known for having the fastest growth rate of any fish on Earth. In fact, according to the Guinness Book of World Records, the largest catfish ever caught was a staggering 646 pounds and 9 feet in length. They can live to be 60 years old, and it only takes them around 6 years to grow to giant proportions. But there's no need to be afraid of the Mekong Giant Catfish. These titans of the river don't actually have any teeth, and sadly their population has decreased by a whopping 95% over the last 100 years. Just imagine all the fish and chips you can make with one of these colossal catfish. Hey, hey, did you know that if you smash the like button, subscribe, and click the notification bell, you're more likely to win the lottery? So what are you waiting for? The Last White Rhinos The white rhino is a majestic creature that may be on the verge of total extinction. This double-horned animal is the largest species of rhino on the planet and can reach a whopping 6,000 pounds in weight, yet you definitely don't want to stand in the way of a white rhino. They're actually the second largest land mammal on Earth after the elephant and are native to South Africa. However, you'd be incredibly lucky to ever spot one in the wild. That's because there are only two recorded northern white rhinos in the world and they're both female. That means no more baby white rhinos Knows, these extremely rare creatures live in the Opeheta Conservancy in Kenya and have the round-the-clock protection from armed guards to protect them from poachers. They may be an incredible species, but at this point, they'll need a miracle to survive. White rhinos, you'll be missed. <laughs> Gracia the toucan. It's not just humans who benefit from prosthetic limbs. Toucan play at that game. Puns aside, this incredible avian surgery saw a chestnut mandibled toucan receive a brand new 3D printed beak that saved its life. Gracia is the first ever toucan to get a prosthetic beak after its own was ripped off by a gang of youths in Costa Rica. These tropical birds need their beaks to eat as well as to regulate their body temperature, so this vicious attack could have been a death sentence for her. However, a team of good Samaritans at the Riscate Wildlife Rescue Center joined up with a 3D printing company in order to create the wounded toucan a brand new synthetic beak made out of nylon. Pretty amazing, right? We're in awe of this winged cyborg. We're sure that Gracia loves his new high-tech beak. <laughs> Bebe the Panda Bebe is one of the most famous pandas on the planet. Named by Michelle Obama and Pang Luan, the first ladies of the United States and China in 2015, this cute, cuddly bear was born at the Smithsonian National Zoo in Washington, D.C., but due to international laws, he was transported to China in his own private Boeing jet at age four. Believe it or not, China actually owns all the giant pandas across the globe, and a worldwide agreement determines that all cubs must be flown back to China once they reach their fourth birthday. With only 1,800 giant giant pandas left in the world, the black and white bear is actually listed as vulnerable by the authorities. No wonder Bebe got the VIP treatment. Flying back to his homeland on a private plane named the Panda Express, the baby bear had 66 pounds of bamboo snacks to nibble on during the flight, and the Smithsonian Zoo even made him his very own playlist of songs for the long journey. Bye-bye, Bebe! <laughs> The Freeway Llamas When these mischievous llamas took to the streets of Sun City, Arizona, the entire United States watched on in disbelief. We've heard of police chases and even wild goose chases, but we've never heard of a domesticated llama chase before. Kanita and Laney are a mother-baby duo who escaped life on the farm and headed for the highway in search of a new home. They had been visiting a senior home when they saw their opportunity to break free and ran with it, leading the authorities and members of the public on a two-hour chase through the city. Yet yeah, turns out llamas are harder to catch than you might think. The chase was even live-streamed on local news, with thousands of Twitter users watching the large mammals every move as they weaved in and out of traffic on the highway. But alas, their great escape was not to be. The farm animals were eventually caught by a local man with some insane lasso skills and returned back to their paddock. It was worth a shot. You can't blame them for trying. <laughs> 
Russia's domesticated foxes. Have you ever dreamed of having a pet fox? Well, in Siberia, the dream has become a reality. Back in 1959, a pair of Soviet geneticists launched an experiment to see if they could domesticate wild foxes, and today their facility is home to 1,000 tame foxes that love to play and spend time with humans. These typically feral creatures now behave like domestic dogs and have been bred selectively to possess friendly, loving, and loyal qualities. They even make different noises to wild foxes and can read human cues and gestures, making them easier to train. How adorable is that? But domesticated foxes weren't the only thing these scientists were researching. They also experimented in breeding hyper-aggressive foxes that acted more like wolves than dogs. We know which foxes we'd rather meet. Jonathan the Seychelles Tortoise Jonathan the Seychelles Tortoise is the oldest known land animal alive today and has outlived the oldest person in the world by at least 65 years. Born in 1832, Jonathan was alive before Queen Victoria sat on the throne, survived two world wars, and has seen 39 U.S. presidents come and go from the White House. At 189 years old, this shelled senior has seen it all. Originally from the Seychelles and the Indian Ocean, Jonathan now lives in the British Overseas Territory of St. Helena, where he's a local celebrity. He's even on the back of their five pence coin. Although this ancient tortoise is basically blind and lost his sense of smell, he still has fantastic hearing and loves munching down on his favorite vegetables. There's no doubt about it, the oldest animal in the world is enjoying his retirement. After all, when you've lived that long, all you want to do is kick back and take it easy. <laughs> Hoover the Talking Seal Turns out that humans aren't the only species that can speak English. That's right, this incredible seal could copy human speech and was best known for yelling the word Hoover at passerbys. This remarkable harbor seal lived in the New England Aquarium in the late 1970s and had an unmistakable Maine accent that captured the public's imagination. Standing up straight and squaring his shoulders, Hoover would bellow phrases like, hello there, how are you? And come over here in a thick American accent, shocking aquarium visitors as they walked by. Researchers figured out that the talented seal had learned these short sentences from a Maine fisherman who had rescued him as a pup, picking up his speech patterns and learning to talk. Now scientists have discovered that Hoover isn't one of a kind, and certain seals are capable of learning to speak just like humans. That's right, one day you may just have a conversation with an adorable seal. Who'd have thought it? <laughs> Jeremy the Lefty Snail Did you know that most snails' shells coil to the right? Well, neither did we. When Dr. Angus Davidson discovered a lefty snail, he couldn't believe his luck. Jeremy the Left-Shelled Snail was named after Jeremy Corbyn, a left-wing politician in the UK, and the mission was to find him a snail soulmate who shared the same rare genetic mutation as him. Dr. Angus launched a public appeal to find Jeremy a partner, earning the mollusk a reputation for being the loneliest snail in the world. So why the rush to find Jeremy a girlfriend? Well, Dr. Angus actually wanted to see if two left-coiled snails would produce similar left-coiled offspring. But believe it or not, when Jeremy did find a snail to mate with, they actually had a right-coiled baby. Two lefts don't always make a right after all. <laughs> Tower of London Ravens It's said that if the ravens ever leave the Tower of London, then the kingdom will fall. So you better believe that these are the most pampered ravens on the planet. These guardians of the tower are thought to have been introduced by King Charles II, and they've been protected birds ever since. There are currently seven royal ravens, and according to legend, at least six birds must be present at all times in the tower. The current ravens are Jubilee, Harris, Grip, Rocky, Aaron, Poppy, and Georgie, and they only respond to the Raven Master, a guard who has special training to handle these intelligent and sometimes aggressive birds. They're fed twice a day on a special diet of mice, chicks, rats, and the occasional rabbit with the fur still left on. These are some seriously hungry raptors. When they're good, they'll even get a tasty treat, biscuits soaked in blood. We're sure it's delicious if you're a raven. These brilliant birds are heavily protected and even have their wings clipped to stop them from flying too far. But in the past, several ravens have escaped and even been fired. Raven George was dismissed for munching on television aerials and raven even Munin escaped power and was later found in nearby Greenwick. Off with his head! Hmm. Sir Nils Olive Did you know that penguins can become knights? Well, now you do. Sir Nils Olive is a king penguin that lives at the Edinburgh Zoo in Scotland and is the only noble penguin on Earth. In fact, he even has two bronze statues in his honor and outranks the original lieutenant that adopted him. So, how did Sir Nils Olive become the most highly decorated flightless bird in the world? Well, it all began when another lieutenant of the Norwegian's King Guard visited Edinburgh Zoo in 1961. The military man became so enamored with these adorable Arctic critters 
that he adopted one of the zoo's penguins, promoted it into a higher rank each and every time he visited, and once it reached Colonel-in-Chief, the King of Norway himself actually honored the penguin with its very own knighthood. Yet yeah, this distinguished penguin has actually been recognized by royalty. Well, he's a king penguin after all. Spider goats. This mind-blowing hybrid creature might look like an ordinary goat, but she's actually part arachnid. Yet this lab-created goat possesses the DNA of a spider. So why on earth would a scientist want to create a goat-spider mutant? Well, the answer is pretty simple. Researchers wanted freckles milk to contain a very valuable substance, dragline silk. This extraordinary material is hardier than Kevlar and is one of the strongest substances on the planet. Randy Lewis, a professor of genetics at Utah State University in the U.S., is the genius behind this extreme crossbreeding and managed to create this strange hybrid by taking a gene from an orb weaver spider and inserting it into the DNA that prompts milk production in the udders. This transplanted gene means that freckles milk can actually be extracted and spun into silk thread. Okay, we've officially seen it all. If scientists can do this, who knows what else they're capable of? Suddenly, Spider-Man doesn't seem so unbelievable after all. <laughs> Casper the Cat Forget lounging around on the couch, this cat has places to go and people to see. Yeah, this adventurous kitty boarded the same bus every day for four years in Devon, England, traveling a grand total of 20,000 miles in his life. Casper jumped on the number three service in Plymouth at 10 a.m. and rode the bus for its entire 11 miles route every single day. He had even had his own favorite seat at the back. Casper became such a regular passenger that all the local drivers were instructed to keep an eye out for the cat on their travels. After the curious cat's journey went viral, his owner, Susan, told the press, I called him Casper because he had a habit of vanishing like a ghost. He even had a book and a film made about him and stole the hearts of people all over the world. It just goes to show that many of us have no idea where our beloved pets go when they leave the house. Punxsutawney Phil Have you ever heard of Punxsutawney Phil? This legendary groundhog is more famous than you might think. Phil lives in Punxsutawney, Pennsylvania and is the star of the town's annual Groundhog Day celebrations. Every year on February the 2nd, a festival is thrown in honor of the chunky ground dweller and people gather before sunrise in order to see Phil emerge from his burrow. But what's all the fuss about? Well, believe it or not, it's thought that Punxsutawney Phil is actually capable of predicting the weather, specifically whether or not spring will come early. In fact, this groundhog is rumored to have been forecasting the seasons for over 120 years and is kept forever young by a magical groundhog punch that he's fed every summer at the yearly groundhog picnic. Okay, so this tradition may seem like nothing more than a fairy tale, but these celebrations are held all over the United States and Canada. And according to legend, if the groundhog sees his shadow and returns to his hole, then an early spring is on the way. If he doesn't see his shadow, however, winter will last for six more months. This odd ritual began all the way back in 1887 and is still organized by the Inner Circle Society to this day. President of the Inner Circle was even said to be fluent in groundhog ease and can speak with Phil in order to confirm it's seen his shadow or not. So, how accurate is Punxsutawney Phil when it comes to the weather report? Well, records show that he's only correct in his predictions around 64% of the time. We guess that's what happens when you leave the forecast up to a groundhog. <laughs> Lonesome George. And now it's time for our final incredible animal that you should know about. Lonesome George was a giant tortoise from the Galapagos Islands that won the hearts of people all over the world. At one point, he was even considered the rarest creature on the planet. As the last individual of the Pinta species, George was one lonely tortoise. Researchers at the Darwin Station tried their hardest to find him a female mate, even offering a generous $10,000 to anyone that could play matchmaker for Lonesome George. However, this tortoise was destined to spend the rest of his days alone. On June 24, 2012, the Galapagos National Park director announced the death of Lonesome George and therefore the extinction of the Pinta tortoise in the wild. His body was frozen and shipped to the American Museum of Natural History in New York City, where he was preserved by taxidermists and kept on display for the world to see. Lonesome George may be gone, but he'll never be forgotten. Isn't nature amazing? Which one of these incredible animals was your favorite? You can let us know in the comment section below. And don't forget to give us a big thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. You can also hit subscribe for more awesome Missing Files content. Thanks for watching and see you next time.